pool is going green again. The pool has no salt chlorination system. The two vertical pipes are both return lines. The chlorinator cell needs to be placed before the return lines. Work out the best position for the cell. Plan the cut. We used a vibrating multi-tool. Unscrew the coupling after the pipe has been cut. We use PVC cement for pressure pipes. We paint some cement inside the pipe and light it. The heat softens the old cut pipe so we can dig it out. We dig it out quickly before it cools. We repeat the procedure if needed and paint some more cement on there. Don't do this with a samurai sword. We remove the off cut from inside the return line. This is the slowest part of the installation. We use a Dremel type tool to clean up the inside of the pipes. We test fit and practice the insertion a few times. We prime both inside and outside of the areas to be glued. Paint on PVC cement inside and outside. Jam the glued pieces together. The glue sets when the pieces are left in position, but you've got to be quick. That's why it's so important to trial the insertion. Let it start to set, then we can install the salt cell. There's just enough room to allow the cell back housing to fit. Removal is necessary so we can clean or replace the cell in future. Make sure the o-ring is in place. Hand tighten the back. The three wires from the cell connect to the main unit. We connect the colours as labelled. We don't switch on the filter for 24 hours. Work out the pool volume and add salt. Make sure the salt's brushed so that it doesn't sit on the floor of the pool because it could stain it. Once running we switch it on and check the leaks. We can also see there's chlorine production. Thanks for watching.